हेलो बच्चों लेट्स सी द क्वेश्चन द एक्सक्रेटरी स्ट्रक्चर्स ऑफ फ्लैट वर्म्स स्लैश टीनिया आर सो फ्लैट वर्म्स और टीनिया फ्लैट वर्म्स आर द प्लेटी हेलमेंटिस दे हैव डोर्सो वेंट्रली फ्लैट एंड बॉडी सो दे आर नोन एज फ्लैट वर्म्स एंड द टीनिया और टेप वर्म आर द मेंबर्स ऑफ फाइलम प्लेटी हेलमेंट्स एंड दे बिलोंग टू क्लास सिस्टोडा नाउ इन केस ऑफ फ्लैट वर्म्स मीन्स द फर्स्ट टाइम स्ट्रक्चर फॉर एक्सक्रीशन अरोज इन फ्लैट वर्म्स एंड द स्ट्रक्चर्स प्रेजेंट हेयर आर नोन एज द फ्लेम सेल्स सो द एक्सक्रीटरी स्ट्रक्चर एक्सक्रीशन इज द रिमूवल ऑफ मेटाबोलिक वेस्ट सो एक्सक्रीशन अकर्स इन फ्लैट वर्म्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ स्पेशलाइज सेल्स कॉल्ड एज फ्लेम सेल्स these are ciliated cells if they are flagellated they are known as solenocytes and the cilia they appear like the flicker of a candle so flickering candle like appearance because of uh, beating of cilia it gives the flickering candle like appearance so that's why they are known as the flame cells so flickering candle like movement is seen if we draw the structure then they look like this so this is the structure of a flame cell at the end there is a tuft of cilia so these cilia bit in such a way that they uh, appear like the flicker of a candle this is nucleus and this is duct so a flame cell along with the duct is called protonephridia but here the special name of the cells are asked uh, is asked so the option will be flame cells so the excretion in flatworms or tinea occurs through flame cells if we look further the other three options are protonephridia so i told you flame cells along with the ducts along with its tubule then it is called protonephridia so here it is wrong then malpighian tubules so malpighian tubules are the structures tiny blind structures which are present at the junction of midgut and hindgut and these are found in insects so this is also incorrect and green glands or antennary glands these are the excretory structures which are present on the antennae and these are found in crustacean crustacea is a class of arthropods which include all prawns and crabs so this is also incorrect with respect to flatworms so in case of flatworms the excretion occurs by flame cells so option a is the right answer all the best